Welcome to Eternal Easy Education. In the session, you are going to learn Chapter 14, Importing C++ Program in Python. Content of this video is How to install MinGW. So, as you learned in the previous video that uh, MinGW is the interface to import C++ with Python. So, let's see how to download it in your system. So go to the browser. In the browser, type mingw w uh, 64 that is 64 bit. So there will be many results. Among the results, take the first one mingw wg4.org. So you will get this window. In this window, take Downloads option. Here, you select this mingw-w64 um, built for Windows. I am using Windows 10, so I am using uh, selecting this option. So here, you click the Source for. So download is starting as it is asking for so you can see this file open this file so click next it will start installing the files So give next select location and wait for the installation so now next. finish so you will get a shortcut like this run terminal so if you double click you will get this command window in this window only you are going to execute the uh, Python interfaced C++ file. So how to do this? So MinGW uh, W64 version is the best compiler for C++ on Windows. What is this meaning is here we are going to use a C++ program as well as a Python program, right? So uh, as we know, C++ is using a compiler. It should be compiled before execution. So, to compile and execute C++ program, you need G++ for Windows. So, this is provided by the interface MinGW. So, MinGW allows uh, to compile and execute C++ program dynamically through Python's programming using G++. So this is the uh, syntax or format to execute. Python is a keyword program uh, Python file minus that means hyphen i C++ file. So Python is a keyword My, uh, hyphen i the name of the Python program to be executed in input modes that is i then C++ file name without extension so without extension so these things you should keep in mind so they are executing Python and they are giving the location first C++ file then oh sorry first Python file followed by hyphen i then the C++ file here the C++ file should not have the extension so only the file name is given okay i'll show one example i am just give the example in the next video we can see the explanation so this is the python program and i'll explain what is this one by one in the next video here there is a python file okay um, each one is having separate meaning for that then we must have the c++ file also 
what is the C++ file here is? So this is the C++ file what we are going to use in this program. Uh, simple, as you know, hash include IO stream using namespace std. Main function is there. The program is for check the given number is palindrome or not. What is a palindrome means? There must be a number uh, and the number is reversed. And the reverse number and the given number are same means it is palindrome. For example, 121. The reverse is 121. So it is palindrome. For example, if the number is uh, like uh, 521, then the reverse will be 125. So here it is not palindrome. So this is the program. Okay. So I have typed the program in the notepad. The thing is you have to save the Python program and the C++ program in the same folder. So I have saved everything in Python environment itself. Can you see here? Um, PLIE, palindrome underscore C++. It's a C++ file. Okay, it's a, a source file. After executing, you will get an object file here itself. And the Python file, palindrome, PLI is also in the same folder. So we are having the C++ file as well as the Python file. Okay, how to execute? You have to take this terminal. I'll take the uh, path to this particular Python folder. Path means it is in C drive. I'm going to change the whole location to the folder. Change directory CD the location so my file is in this location that means the python file so i'm changing the location to the particular file now use the keyword python space um, c++ file okay i'm sorry python file palindrome.py followed by hyphen i here the c++ file this is the c++ file name I'm not giving the extension. So it, now it is asking for enter the positive number. Okay, I'll show the folder. Can you see this? Already it was only uh, C++ file. Can you see the file here? So after compilation, after running the command in the uh, command prompt, you will get this line. This uh, Get this file compile the file of C++. For this purpose only, we are using mingw. So it's asking for the positive number. I mean, yeah, I will give a number like 125. So the reverse number is 521. So the number is not palindrome. Again, we'll run the file. Now I'm giving a number is 121. So the reverse number also 121. So the number is palindrome. So the concept is we have imported C++ file in Python. So I'll explain one by one what are the things here, uh, why we have to use these things in the next video. So in this video, you have learned how to install and how to work. That's all for this session. Thank you. Have a good day.